Hello there, I'm Gaff. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. This is a fire extinguisher. Your powers of observation are incredible. Pretty useful invention, in my opinion. Pretty yeah. good. A bit weighty though. Can't really pop it in your pocket. What if there was a really tiny one? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I qualify this as a really tiny one. It's pretty small. Yeah, this is called an e-bulb and it's specifically for use inside of electronic equipment. Yeah, we got sent a handful of these by uh, J-O-B Group. Cheers. It's not sponsored. They didn't pay us or tell us to say anything, but I should mention we didn't pay for them. I was confused when they said we're sending you a handful of uh, <laughs> fire extinguishers, maybe two dozen. I was like, what? But now I understand. I feel like visually this could be similar to the uh, fire sprinkler video that we did where well, the glass bulb broke. So that's exactly what it is, except it's not got water behind it. It contains some sort of like, you know, secret juice <laughs> <laughs> that extinguishes fires. There's two versions I've got here. Uh, this one's coated with like a, a conductive material to allow you to put it as part of this, uh, this sort of chain of power. And when right. it gets broken, it's like a fuse and it like just breaks the cycle of electricity. So there's no electricity and it puts out the fire. So it's like dual purpose. Yeah, it's like a wet fuse. Yeah, a, a wet fuse. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This one's just wet. <laughs> Our fire will be in this. It's a PC power supply box without the guts. It's going to go on top of here where we're going to have our simulated electrical fire. I'm going to put the non-coated version in. Nothing happens. The bulb doesn't turn on because it's not got the electrical coating. The conductive coating. This one, you see that? Oh yeah. So what's going to happen is when it reaches the temperature and bursts, it's going to cut the power supply to the bulb and put the fire out. Double whammy. Pretty sweet. We'll film this on the Phantom TMX 7510. We'll start at 10,000 frames a second just so we can see into the pretty shaded box and then we'll see if we need to get carried away. I'm going to put a little bit of ethanol in here to provide a constant flame and I'm going to use this electrical tape to sort of symbolise bits and electrical components and things like that. And some paper towel as well to let me know when it's on fire because ethanol is pretty clean burning and hopefully that'll give us a little bit of an orange flame to see as well. Yeah. That is a light. Put that on. Put that in. Away we go. Oh. <laughs> what? It's an awful pop, isn't it? It goes to the real bang, doesn't it? Do you know I panicked a little bit? You panicked? I panicked and I went, ah, and I pushed it. <laughs> I panicked. You pushed it early? I think so. <laughs> you don't like doing the trigger, do you? No. It's do you want like, me to do it? Look, no, no, it's fine. I'd rather <laughs> be in direct like, fire and all that sort of stuff, fine. <laughs> Pushing the trigger, forget about it. <laughs> I can do it. No, no, it's all right. I, I, think, uh, I think I've got something. I just would, would like iPro if I'm going to be this close. That's fair. Look at this. The whole thing fell off, look. Oh, the, uh, the bulb holder. Yeah. Oh, I wonder why they gave us so many spares. <laughs> because they blow up. Yeah, <laughs> it like, blows it up. It's that powerful. <laughs> oh, wow. Goodness me. It That's... probably like blows the holder off. Look how quickly it turns oh. in. There's not really any liquid splash on the front. It's like almost immediately vapor. Yeah, it just turns from a liquid into a gas. Look at the speed of electricity too. Instantly off, like oh. no, no messing about. How many frames was it after it popped that the electricity went off? Same frame, right? So on, 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 off. Yeah, a couple of frames. Wow. Maybe 300 microseconds. Look at the flex on the glass. Look at it when it sped up. Oh yeah, that's some force, isn't it? Do you know what I like? putting out fires with explosions. Yeah. Because that's an explosion. I mean, it's an effective way to remove some of the fire triangle, isn't it? Is to yeah. blow it away. Oxygen. Yeah, get out of there. Okay, we think the flame is getting suffocated. So we're gonna raise up the box slightly on these little standoffs. And hopefully that will allow a little bit more air in and we can see a yellow flame in the same shot as the bulb. Yes, quality. Got it. Yeah, I think we got a good flame there. You know what, even though it wasn't as confined, it still put the fire out. There was way more oxygen, which allowed an orange flame, and it still put it out. I wonder how it would cope with just being completely uncontained, just over a flame, but not in the box. Yeah. 
I mean, the only issue with that is I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of direct heat on it to actually make it function. OK, we're at 80,000 frames a second now with the bulb on the outside. Now we have enough light to see 80,000. Um, not contained, though, so it might be harder to pop. It also more <laughs> has no guarantees of actually going out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's designed for a contained area. So obviously, when the temperature reaches between 135 and 165 degrees, then it pops. But that's yeah. going to be harder to do in the open air because you're just sort of heating the air. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well the fire lives. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, that's expected. <laughs> Luckily I have an alternative method of putting out fires. This. That works. Nice damp cloth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that should, that should show us quite a lot. I hope so. It took a while to go. This is 3,200 times slower than your own face. Here we go. Wow, the... Uh, I forgot about the wind. That's really doing a number on our direct flame idea, isn't it? Yeah. It's sort of whipping back and forth, though. Yeah. Oh! oh. Look Gosh. at the pattern. Yeah, immediately vapour. Yeah, you can see it's so much clearer there, can't you? Look at the way it breaks. Mm. All the way down. Mm. See, there's our problem. There's where the fire didn't go out. Um, it seemed to blow all the ethanol <laughs> up into the air. <laughs> I like that. Let's get, let's, get, uh, let's get closer. Real tight. Gonna up the frame rate too? I'll uh, see what I can do. All right. Okay, we've got the wind blocking wall up. Let's film at 150,000 frames a second. It's much closer up, so we should get some nice cracking details. Sounds cracking, yeah. Sounds cracking. We're lit. Now comes the anticipation. Oh, that was a lot quicker. <laughs> Flipping it. All right, let's make sure that no ethanol splashed onto the ground. Okay. It's a brief, uh, brief moment of staring at the ground. That is astonishing how much of a difference our little windshield made there. Yeah. Like but the first time we popped it, it took like maybe 40 seconds. I was losing hope. That time we put the wind block in front of it. 10 seconds if that. See you later. Yeah. Didn't help it put the, the fire out, but uh. Yeah, the fire, I went a bit ham with the eth ethanol as well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention that part, but I was like, yeah. That's what it said in the demo instructions, I think. Go ham with ethanol. It did say, it did say that, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of fire. Yeah, I, t I told you. you. <laughs> I, I didn't, I went ham, B. You're a, you're a big fan, I've noticed, of changing two variables at once. You love to just double up. I would have probably just stuck with the wall and done the same amount. <laughs> <laughs> Look all right, it popped. It popped. Yeah. Damn two variables, Grishy. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, not worked. I'll change everything about it. <laughs> How can we learn the least yeah, from yeah. what <laughs> Okay, 150,000 frames a second, AKA 6,000 times slower than real time. <laughs> Look at that. Look at what it does to the, like it sucks the flame towards it. Even though it's exploding, it sucks the flame in, look. That's what it appears to do. Yeah, I think I would expect the flame to maybe move away from that. Yeah, right? That is an interesting effect. You can see all the, uh, sort of like the oh. ripples in the atmosphere there. Yeah. Is that like heat lines or is that just... It's probably the vapour. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it expanding out. Oh, that's weird. Those bits of glass spinning are pretty sweet. It does look a lot bigger now though. Yeah. I don't think they will want their demo box back. It's a bit new. No. Yeah, it's got all like chips from the explosions and well, glass. And, and also ah. a little bit charred on the back. Yeah. Non-standard non -standard usage. usage. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. I really enjoy filming subjects that I've never heard of before. Because you, you get to learn about it and then also, oh, it looks really cool in slow-mo. It's really fast. Yeah. You see, I, I love stuff that, I love safety stuff that explodes. I remember <laughs> the, like the seatbelt pretensioners where there's like a small explosion that like tightens the seatbelt before you crash. There's a surprising amount of that stuff, isn't there? Yeah. Really? Quite a lot of stuff that explodes for safety reasons. Yeah, airbags. airbags. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And uh, we're kind of like public information at this point, you know, making people aware <laughs> of all this stuff. That's why people are subscribed. Yeah, yeah. Look at this weird thing. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo. And how about this? 
if you know have a cool, very fast invention that I've not heard of, or you, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments. Obviously, you need to know what we've heard of. Yeah. Just Here, suggest it anyway. Here's a list of what we've heard <laughs> of. <laughs> really going for that 10 minute mark on the, <laughs> on the video. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, now I've got to put a list of stuff going up the screen. Uh, I, got it. I thought I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, this is going to make his job so much harder. <laughs> All right, let's get some little. You could do like a list of what I've heard of and what you've heard of. <laughs> <laughs>